Welcome back, everybody, to the No Morning Show. We are live on TTT on Talk City 91.1 FM and also on Facebook at TTT Live Online. I'm very, very excited this morning because if you don't know by now, well, we're going to tell you. Trinidad and Tobago will be hosting the Commonwealth Youth Games in 2021. And I have with me two very special guests. They are both members of the committee and they are also national athletes. It's my pleasure <laughs> to introduce Miss Kwanis John, who is a rugby player. And also Miss Risa Grant, who is a beach volleyballer. Yes. Good yes. morning, ladies, and welcome. Good morning, Good morning, and thank morning. you for having us. We are so excited, aren't we? Yes, yes. very excited. <laughs> Tell me about this excitement when you heard about Trinidad and Tobago hosting the games. Oh my God, it, it was unbelievable, so to speak. I mean, I, I know we had a little bit of confidence in terms of going into the bed, but yes. it was really, really, really emotional. How, yeah. how did you feel? <laughs> Ecstatic. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. I was overwhelmed by the news. I got the news via WhatsApp. <laughs> you know, I, was it because of a news article or somebody privately messaged you? I, no, I, I think it, it was one of our media personnel oh. who you know, was on the ball with it. I was at the gym and he messaged and said, we won. And I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, a lot of hard work went into it. And um, a lot of research went into preparing the bid. And, you know, Mr. Lewis and Mrs. Knott, um, who presented the final at the yeah. um, mm -hmm. meeting in Birmingham, you know, we sent them out there as a representation of us. And, and <laughs> they did exceptionally well. Yeah, they, yeah. Did, they, did they did came back with us <laughs> yes, being the host. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned the work that went into it. So yes. tell me, how did you all go about putting this, uh, this bid together? Well, we did a lot of research, for, so to speak, on the other games that uh, that was hosting the Commonwealth mm. Youth Games. Um, a lot of long, long <laughs> days in the office. Yeah. And um, yeah, we just basically worked together as a team. Yeah, mm -hmm. and one of our um, the bed team members, she's currently yes. working in Mexico. Yes. And, you know, we, we it was a literal teamwork. We yeah. three come from team sports, so yes. it wasn't difficult to yeah. work together. We understood the vision that we wanted to um, have the game. We understood the vision we wanted to ha the games to have for mm -hmm. youth and mm -hmm. understanding it's a youth games for for youth by youth. Yes. So that was critical for us um, in, in developing the bed and developing the theme behind the bed. So yes. what, what is the goal then? Yes, you talk about the youth, but yes. where do you expect it to go? Now we have it. Yes, we, we need have to it. create something that people will always remember. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago have a history of creating events that people remember yes. forever. It's remarkable. Events. You know, so, <laughs> I mean, it's nothing strange for us as a, as a, a, a cul culture to create these events. And so we really want to leave an imprint uh, that sport can be a, a contributor to the economy. We want our youth mm -hmm. to understand that dream big and go for a dream because this literally was an idea <laughs> that developed with some hard work and yes. support from the the Olympic, sorry, the Commonwealth Games, Games mm -hmm. um, Association. <laughs> and with that support and our ideas, it, it solidifies. So I think for our message but through the Games is dream big and trust your support and go go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that is important. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That, that is but definitely that's important. Really important. Especially for young people within Trinidad and Tobago, within the world, you know, we see a lot of things going on, especially with young people, um, challenges that they may be facing, whether it be at home, through sport, uh, in school. And we want, to, we want them to, to know that, you know, there is hope. There is hope. Yeah. Yeah. There is hope. So yeah. let's find out um, the games itself, you know, mm -hmm. um, where, where are the major events going to take place? And <laughs> so we, we have target in keeping with our theme, which is transformative mm -hmm. youth engaging, um, two uh, sports that will be included in this cycle of the games would be eSports and BMX. Mm -hmm. And it's strange because, <laughs> you know, people be like eSports, BMX, yeah. but the idea is that our youth are so engaged yes. there. Yeah. So instead of trying to get them to come to the typical sports, so to say, why not reach them where they are? Yeah. Yeah. So that is one. But we're still going to have the traditional sports of athletics and swimming and 
So, and we're going to use our lovely facilities, yes. as you know. That so we're down in Cuba. We're yes, down in Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're in Tacker Cuba. 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 Yeah. Yes, you yeah. know, so those are the spots that we have in the proposal. Yes. Um, over this month, we'll finalize the nine spots that we're going with. And... Well, yes. <laughs> I know that when those nine sports are finalized, these ladies will be joining me once again <laughs> to, to talk about it because yeah, yeah, it is exciting. Yeah. And I, yes, yes. I really want Trinidad and Tobago to be excited about this because yes. we always talk about the need to engage youth. And now this is an opportunity for people to engage the youth. Yeah, yeah, and people need to come yeah. out and show support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's, it's, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I was going to say it's always healthy when we have uh, major games happening at home because we never get that opportunity to host the games. So for the young people, especially within here and in the region, it builds that kind of momentum, the energy that the Caribbean mm -hmm. region have. You know, we just want to portray that on the world stage. I mean, uh, we have some fantastic talent, yes. especially yes. youth talent. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, so I need to ask <laughs> you about your rugby playing <laughs> time and how is that going? Um, it's it's great. I'm happy that you asked. Um, where I actually leave on Thursday for competition mm -hmm. in Cayman Islands, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and so the team was selected about a week ago. The final team was selected, and we go in for our regional championships. It's part of the Olympic qualifying process. Mm -hmm. um, so. Th you know, I'm excited. I'm literally buzzing <laughs> off a wall, although I'm grounded. But I'm literally <laughs> buzzing for competition. <laughs> We're all excited. Hashtag Team TTO. Yes. Tell me about the, the, the beach volleyball. How is that going for you and where do you see it going? Um, it's going really good, actually. Um, so we qualified, the country qualified for the Pan Am Games. Um, I believe we're, su we're supposed to be leaving at the end of this month, the 22nd. Um, we're also into the second round of the Olympic qualifiers, which is semi-final round. Um, in next year, happening next year around February, mm -hmm. March, somewhere there. Yeah. So exciting things happening for Trinidad and Tobago. The Commonwealth Youth Games taking place in Trinidad and Tobago in 2021. These ladies were fantastic. I hope they come again to tell us more about what is happening. Miss Kwanis John and uh, Riza Grant, thank you yes. so very much. Thank and you. hashtag Team TTO, support all the way from TTT. Yes. yes. All right.